Warm well, welcome to another Mac Cafe carpool. I'm Obi Knowles, and uh, this time around, Ish guys, I've got somebody who is funny. I, I think I've met some funny people in my life, but they're not comedians. Uh, so, this is the first time I'm having a chat with a comedian, and her name, well, I know her as I know her as Stella Tlangalala. You know her, I might know her as Stella Tlangs. Hey! If you're following me on the Instagram, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Stella, thank you so much hey, for giving us your time. Hey, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it does. Good, good. I mean, I know we took some time before we took yes. this, but like, we're doing it, right? We're doing, we're doing, it. doing it. We're writing. We're writing. For we're the writing. family. For the family. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about comedy. Yeah. Um, not a lot of families, or not a lot of people, rather, mm. would support their kids, mm. saying that, no, nah, I want to do comedy. Mm. How did that conversation come about with your parents? And when did you know? Firstly, that you wanted to be a comedian. Right. So, so I being a comedian is like one of the many things that I do. Yeah. Um, when so I'm also an actress. I'm mm-hmm. also a dance choreographer and uh, a teacher. Mm. So when I just I actually started doing drama in. We didn't have drama in my primary school. Okay. Oh, of course, yeah. which, which primary school? I went to Mtalume Primary School. Where's we that? didn't even have. Oh, by getting. Whoopi Corn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, mm. you know, bless their hearts. The education was had. Uh, but we didn't That's have important. much. Exactly. Yeah, but we didn't have much, like. Like uh, sports and drama and all of mm. that. But at the, end of the, at the end of the year, when I was in grade 7, mm. they were like, hey guys, it's your final year. Come up with something, like a play or something, and just. You know, send Stella. send send yourself off with the bag. And we're all Stella. like, okay. <laughs> you know, we don't know what we're doing, but obviously okay. you watch TV, yeah. you watch just do more you in there when you you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've always been like good at imitating people. Also my dad is a good storyteller and like, my big okay. brother is also just very funny. Um, so we did this play in grade seven and I remember I was playing some character, but every time I I would speak People would be hosing themselves, just <laughs> laughing. And I didn't understand because I was so shy. Did it like, not like kill you in terms of shyness like so and the fact that i did confidence that, as well because people are laughing at you you don't they're know they're laughing because of what i'm saying but i'm not oh, realizing okay, that what i'm saying okay. is funny <laughs> so i didn't think it would be funny in my facial expressions i didn't know the power of my face before then okay okay anyway so then i'm like this is cool people are just laughing and this is having fun and everyone is like oh my gosh she's so funny so i was like when i get to high school i have to make sure that i'm i do drama and fun and, and wonderfully enough the high school i went to had drama and all sorts of things and i was like perfect i'm doing this thing I, I can become someone else. I can escape from being Stella, yeah, from being Stella because I'm so yeah. like so scared and so shy and so anxious and be someone else. It's amazing. And also in high school, people would be like, "You're so funny." Every time we did monologues mm. and, and drama uh, during break time, they're like, "Stella, come do your monologue." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna come and do my monologue in break time. Are you crazy?" <laughs> hello, my babe. Hello, my sweet. Hello, my. Hello, my sweet. Let's, let's talk about you know comedy. I mean, like when you talk to a comedian, one of the first things that you hear from them when you're talking about this journey at the beginning was that, like you telling me right now, but I don't know, people wanted to hear your jokes every now and then. Yeah. Has there ever been that point where you're making a joke and then to <laughs> <I've never laughs> <had> to... <laughs> Right. Yeah. So <laughs> I started doing. Uh, so I, I used to first do skits. On okay. Facebook and, and then just to test my material. You still do skits, by the way. And I still do skits, yes, yes. yeah. Just on, not so much on, 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 on Facebook, a lot of TikTok. Okay. I'm apparently TikTok famous. TikTok. Hey! But the first time I ever did stand up comedy was like, I think 2018. I was like, okay. okay, you've been doing the skit thing and people are enjoying you. Uh-huh. Let's try to take it to the stage, but that's right? Completely different, Stella. It's completely different that's... and it's scarier. Okay. Because uh, when you're doing skits, you're at home. Like comfort of your of your home, Fair. and Fair. you can go. I don't like this. Delete, delete, delete. Uh, delete. delete. And you, you, you know, know, start again. And yeah. you start again. Oh, when you laugh, then stand up comedy. Once you go, you go. And here's Obey looking at you like this. <laughs> Make me laugh. Make me laugh. As you are a woman, I don't think women are funny. So good luck. Ooh, you know, as well, the yeah. stereotypes mm-hmm. we have to like work against so much. So I just have to tell myself that as long as I'm being me and being as authentic as I can to myself. Um, my anxiety is not as bad. It's when I'm trying to be some something else that I'm sure. not. 
then I have to judge judge myself. Mm. But I think that the biggest thing I've had to let go is what do people say? I had to remove that 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 that, yeah. that, that disease, that symptom. It's, it's, remove it's a, it's a that. serious thing. black oh, illness. Oh, it's that a one. serious mm. thing because mm. we grew up being told that. Mm. Don't wait, that was in a band, that's in a you know? Yeah. So once you remove that and just like, I'm just doing me. I mean, I haven't conquered it completely. I still get anxious, but I do it despite my despite anxiety. Despite the fact, yeah. You know, because I'm not going to get beaten by anxiety. Like, yeah, 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 Um, one of the things that um, you know, um, very, I would say, impressive about your career right now is that you've managed to merge. You did say that you're an actress now. You know, you, you are a dance teacher as well. You've managed to merge all these things together, right? How and what is your most favorite one? If you had to leave one, right? Which one would you know? But let's start off with the how. Did you get the role on Jive first of all? And how did it make you feel because you're merging all these things together? Mm. And if you had to leave one, which one would you? So it was so amazing to get uh, the role in Java to play Lady E. My agent, when, when my agent got the brief from from Netflix, she was like, Stella, you're one of my dancers, and you have to go and try out for this role. Like I feel like this is, this is for you. And obviously, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Netflix, and I get to act and dance. Yeah, oh, which come is your on. favorite thing? And my two favorite things, uh. right? And so I was like, oh God, praying. I'm like, please, 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 let this be my, my break. Because I've only been, uh, uh, I've only had a cameo on the river. Okay. It was my first time okay. on television because mm. I'm, I'm theater trained. So I've been sure. doing a lot of theater. Sure. And in that cameo, you know, I got to act with Cindy and Dadu. And I was like, okay, this is a big deal. Like, you've got to step up. But then my character, unfortunately, didn't come back, right? Okay. So then I was like, God, what's happening? What's next? And then this came up. And I was like, if this can be like, it's a lead role and it's a Netflix and it's mm. global. And it's like... It's Please, can this be my breakthrough? Please. And it was. And then it was. Right? And I was like, I got you. <laughs> take it, my child. I was like, thank you. And you're ready my for G. it. My yeah. I was ready for it. You know, because they always say, like, prepare for the role that you want to, you know, sure. just, just stay ready. And you've you know? been prepared. And, you know, come on, you prepare. So anyway, so it was wonderful to merge those two, the dance and acting. It was a wonderful experience. And, uh, and you know, I'm a global now. Now and then I'm like, hey, what oh, do you want Netflix? <laughs> Hey man, hey let me Does go watch my you know, you, know what I mean? like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, I'm on Netflix. Why am I sad? <laughs> like, guys, speak to me nicely, directly. You want to yourself, <laughs> you yeah. Know? And so th- I've had that question before. Like, what would you choose if you because uh, you, you do so one, much? Yeah. And I, my answer is always like, I don't think I can drop all of them as long as I'm performing. If that makes sense. Like, yeah. I just enjoy performing. That's why I do so much. Yeah. I, that's it. Okay. I enjoy entertaining cool. people. I enjoy seeing people be happy and express themselves mm. because of what I'm doing. Sure, you know. Sure. So as long as I'm performing, I don't care. Can you write, write chat the robot and create it? As, <laughs> as long as Cody performance involves, <laughs> me, I'm happy. What can we expect, Stella? I mean, you are now, you know, you're talking about so many things that you're yeah. doing. What can we expect from you as your fans and as your followers? What is Stella up to right now? Oh, you're a fan. Oh, guys, you see, you get fans every day, my dad. Why am I broke when I've got so many fans? Woo! Ah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You gotta fake it until you make it. Okay, okay. They must never know that you're struggling. For what? Don't, Who don't are look they like to know? Struggle. Never. So I really am looking forward to just like what I drink my own stand up comedy shows. Okay. Um they've been very requested. I've got a character that I call the Red Shirt. Uh-huh. Uh, that people love. So I'm wanting to do a show and, and like tour with it sure. and I like go to Joburg, Victoria, yeah, and You want your own music, is it? Uh, la, la, la. <laughs> I don't know, have you seen him? Sure. Like, listen, I put like like black stuff here. <laughs> he looks like a balloon. I People think I'm a man every time I'm in that costume and I love it. <laughs> I love to hear it. I love to see tell, it. Tell it, it gives me power. <laughs> I tell him very good, exactly. So I would love to do my own set of comedy shows and travel and meet yeah. my fans sure. and engage with the people because that's my big thing. Like I don't want to... I don't want people to be like, yo, Stella is like not accessible. I want to be accessible to people. I'm not a celebrity. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, with you Stella. guys. Yeah. You know, people <laughs> like to say, oh, Stella Wayne. Yes, hashtag oh, Stella Wayne. Definitely. You know, I'm with it. I don't want to be like, you know, exactly. Oh, it's our chair. Um, obviously, there needs to be boundaries because sometimes right. the fans do too much. Right. But, uh, right. <laughs> but right. it's nice to just engage. So I want to do that. I'm hoping for, you know, more t- television stuff. 
um, um, I'm tra I'm always the gym training because I'm like I'm gonna get an action roll one day and, I'm, and I want to be ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Get going with your stand-up comedy. You always wanna, you know, is get a hold thing, of the point. Is the thing. You know? Is the thing. When I come back, I got gonna be. I'm a big deal now, but I'll be even a bigger deal. <laughs> so I'm just saying, look up. <laughs> look up for Stella, guys. That is Stella Zangs. Hey, Stella Zangala. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so yeah. much for your yeah. time. Oh, oh you're black you. yourself. <laughs> Tell you we gotta chill. <laughs> we gotta chill. <laughs> we gotta chill. I love it. I'll see you at the gym. Listen, I'll see you at the gym. That was Stella Zangs, Stella Zangalala for the whole world. It's Stella Zangs if you're following on Instagram. For the baby. Check it out for the baby. <laughs>